Uh, my name is Roger Gillespie. Um, I'm a Canadian. I'm, I'm one of the volunteers with the project. Uh, I've been doing dialogues with students since January. Uh, so for about the past six months, uh, two different sessions, one on Wednesday and one on uh, Friday every week. And uh, I've had a great time. Uh, I love this project. I love the philosophy of this project. Uh, I, I like the uh, ambition of the students and I like what you're trying to do for them and with them. Uh, I've been a journalist for uh, 30 years, uh, a reporter, uh, an editor, and uh, I spent a lot of time as a newsroom manager. Uh, but about this time last year, I decided that uh, I wanted to do something else. And something else was to teach English um, to uh, people who wanted to learn English, uh, but whose uh, native language was not English. So one of the projects that uh, I, I work with is this project. Uh, it is my favorite project because of what it is you're doing, how you're using technology, and what it is you're trying to do with and for the students. So uh, I, I, I have a great deal of admiration for this project. Uh, at this point, <clears throat> after six months of uh, being with the project, uh, I, I would like to make a couple observations, uh, criticisms, um, whatever you want to call them. They're not meant to, uh, to, to be uh, seen as negative criticism. They're seen, they should be seen as things that uh, I believe would help improve the project, uh, would help improve the experience for the volunteers, and, and I think would help uh, the students as well. So th there's just a couple of things that I think um, that could use improvement. And, and uh, I think monitors uh, are, are so critical to this project. Um, your uh, role uh, is, uh, is, in my view, it's the most important role. Um, there's lots of people and there's lots of parts and there's lots of players in this program. Uh, but the people who actually make it work, the people who know the students, who keep the project running on time, uh, make sure they cover the material, that's you. Uh, there is no one else who has a central role in keeping everything running. Uh, so here's the thing for me. I come to this project <clears throat> as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. I have a bit of time. I'm not sure that other volunteers have as much time as I do. Uh, and the point is, I'm here to talk to students. Uh, the point is, I'm here to practice English with students. So I want to see as many students as possible. Um, some, some days I've seen as few as two students. Um, uh, sometimes I've seen as many as 12. Uh, I, I don't think two is a good number. I think two is a really bad number. Two makes me feel like, why am I only talking to two people? Um, I, I know that some of them are shy, that some of them feel as if their English isn't good enough, um, but practice is the way they're going to improve. And so you need to find a way to get as many as possible in front of the Skype terminal to spend a little bit of time with me. It will get easier. You know this. You've learned English yourselves. Um, but by avoiding that, they will not learn English. And your role, one of your roles, one of your important roles, is to get them in front of the Skype terminal to talk to someone like me. Um, the other thing that I have on my mind is, is uh, the timeliness of the Skype sessions for volunteers. Um, sometimes they're on time. Um, often they're not. Uh, I've had classes start 25 minutes after they were supposed to. Um, and I understand why that happens, um, or at least I think I understand why that happens. But um, you probably have volunteers who don't have that kind of luxury to wait an extra half an hour before they can start talking to you. Uh, but what I, what I do know for sure is um, you need to tell people. It's not uncommon for a class to be delayed and for me not to know. Uh, nobody just shows up on Skype. Uh, and eventually someone will show up and say, are you ready? Um, if you're going to be late, you need to let people know that. It's just a courtesy. Uh, uh, we all have other things that we can do, <laughs> would do. Um, and it's not that we're not committed to this program. It's that we have other things to do, just like you do. So if you're going to be late, you, you need to tell someone. It's not difficult to go to the Skype terminal and type in, we're going to be late. Uh, and you should do that. It won't take long, and you'll have a lot more happy volunteers that way. Um, I, 
it's just not, it's just not it's not courteous. Um, anyway, uh, I don't want you to take these the wrong way. These are these are meant to improve the program. I'm still here. I still love it, and I'm coming back for more. So these are not deal breakers for me. These are just things that would improve the project. Anyway, thank you for your time, and uh, ciao. I'll see you again.